last night on The Bachelorette. I just want men here that are here for this Claire. I've been in too many relationships where it was superficial. Meanwhile, I think we should play strip dodgeball. Oh. This is my game. These are my rules. <laughs> Woo! Take off your shorts. Week two of the Claire and Dale show featuring other dudes, I guess, has come and gone, and we've got a season that seems to know it's only got a few more episodes left before a new lead takes over, because they're trying to cram as much drama into each episode as they can. So as per usual, please refrain from posting any spoilers from after Tasha takes over in the comments section below. And let's get to what went down in this chaotic week of The Bachelorette. Now we start this week with Claire reveling in the amazing night one she just had with her dog Honey who she then feeds some wine. I want you to be a parent. Oops, uh, wrong show. Or, wait a minute. I love that. I love that. Lord help us all. And of course, like every season, Chris Harrison enters to address the men and hand out the first date card of the season. A group date where the men get to channel their inner Romeo and share their hearts to Claire on a balcony. But where have I seen this before? Haven't we already had a guy go all Romeo on a bachelorette before? For what lady is it? that enriches the hand of yonder knight. For it is thee that teaches the torches to burn so bright. Ah, uh, yes. So this group date is all about the five love languages. Words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and physical touch. The idea is that one of these five love languages is how we best express or receive love. Like, don't touch me, just give me cash. I love receiving gifts. Love languages. So we start with words of affirmation, then a race to find Claire a very personal gift. Hey! Look, Bennett doesn't even sweat. He can. His body doesn't allow him to sweat. Bennett is walking <laughs> on water. Look at that gorgeous right stride. He looks like a damn antelope. Okay, Bennett's kind of warming on me. What's happening here? Now, with each of their gifts, the men share something personal with Claire. Like, Ivan gives her a chess piece, so we know from episode one that he really likes chess, and now we know from episode two that he still really likes chess. Dale also gives her some dog perfume. Some, some, some dog perfume. Nope, she's still, yep, still in love with him? Okay. Things then move on to physical touch. Each guy dons a blindfold to explore their physical connection without seeing each other. I'm a big smell person, you guys. Claire smells amazing too, and I'm just very big on that as well. We know, Zach. We know. So after Dale and Claire fawn over each other for 30 minutes with the men brutally forced to watch, it's time for possibly the most important love language when it comes to this show. Quality time. Claire sits down with the men and toasts to a great evening ahead. Cheers to finding love. <laughs> Cheers. Nothing? Nobody at all? No one's going to do anything? All right. Does anybody want to... <clears throat> yeah, let's do it. I'd love Step to, I'll, up I'll, to the I'll, plate? I'll, I, would love to, <laughs> I would love to go chat with you. Oh, thank goodness. But while Bennett finally gets some time with Claire, Claire's still stewing over how no one wanted to get up and take her away. I'm not somebody that holds stuff in, and if I hold it in, it just stirs and stirs and stirs. Okay. It's like... Why didn't those guys get up? So Claire books it out of her time with Bennett to go tell off the men. I'm sitting here, I had made a toast, and then there was the longest awkward silence. And I just sat here and was embarrassed and had to like, does anybody want to spend time with me? Wow, these men are here looking like they're about to get 15 minutes taken off of recess for bad behavior. So the men all get up. Yosef says, can I speak for the group? And then gets shut down by Claire and Riley and told to speak for himself which is basically the origin story for the future of this villain, as Yosef gets peeved and says this. The response from Claire tonight, I feel like it was just hot-headed and, you know, kind of immature. But men like Zack and Dale get up to show Claire they're here for her, with Dale going off and grabbing Claire for some alone time. And in defense of the guys, it's totally possible that they just didn't know what to do. This is not a typical scenario. There's a production schedule, camera crew, rules to the date, so while I understand Claire's frustration, I don't think the guys deserve to be chewed out. Alright, but while Claire and Dale stare dreamily into each other's eyes, back with the other men, a date card for the first one-on-one -on -one of the season has arrived, and it has Jason's name on it. Leaving Blake here feeling down in the dumps as he wants to build upon his night one with Claire. Back on the group date, we get Zack sitting down with Claire, and then Riley, who makes a great impression and nabs the kiss. But all this time, I'm sitting here like, 
What about Bennett? Isn't he still back there waiting? Okay, and is it me or does Bennett have the feel of a John Paul Jones? But like, instead of JPJ being infused with surfer dude energy, he got Leo DiCaprio from The Great Gatsby. I mean, I was here ready to say Bennett's the kind of guy who thinks WAP stands for well-aged Pinot Grigio, but I actually feel bad for the dude. Some say he's still there, waiting for Claire to return. Anyways, Riley gets the group date rose and we can move on to the next day and Jason's one-on-one, -on -one, where Jason gets a 17-page essay instead of a date card. Before our date, please take some time to write a letter to your younger self. I'm gonna do the same. Wow, a Claire voiceover for the date card. This season's getting fancy. So Jason and Claire are headed on a date that's basically a therapy session, where Jason's going to be sitting down while Claire swirls some tea, and Jason gets sent into the sunken place. But I mean, this is totally Claire. She wants someone who's completely open and honest with their feelings. I'm all for that. Everyone should have a little therapy in their life. So Claire wants this date to be all about practicing letting go, starting with breathing and screaming, which has basically been my favorite thing to do while quarantining. Then, after they share their letter to their younger self and open up their feelings, Claire gives Jason a rose and tells him there's one more thing she's letting go of. The dress she wore when Juan Pablo rejected her at the final rose ceremony. They go to throw it in the fire and... One, two, two three. three. So now that the spirit of Juan Pablo has finally been set free and we can move on from that chapter of Bachelor Nation history, it's time to head on the final group date of the episode. The theme of this group date is... If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? Oh! Oh! Yes, the men are going to be dodging some balls, which is sure to lead to some horrible puns I'd make if I were in fifth grade. You gotta lay everything on the table. I'm ready. I'm ready to lay my balls on the table. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So the guys get a warm-up game of dodgeball to see who's competitive or something, and remind me to never pick Claire to be on my dodgeball team. This is... this is just not how you play dodgeball. After that, it's time for your classic bachelor sports ball date. It happens every season. Divide the contestants into two teams, play sports, and the winning team gets alone time with Claire. Except this time... I think we should play strip dodgeball. Oh. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So the guys are going to play strip dodgeball and the losing team has to take off all their clothes and head back to the bachelor pad in their birthday suit. Could you imagine this on The Bachelor? Imagine Peter going out and saying, All right, ladies, we're playing strip polo. You first, Victoria F. Like, look, I'm fine with it if it's the person's choice. All the power to ya, and we've seen it before. But I just think if I were in that position, I'd feel uncomfortable. And I'd probably feel pressure to do it anyways, because it's what The Bachelorette has told us to do. So, excuse me if I skip this date and the shots of the blue team walking back to their place with sensor bars covering their business, and go straight into the night portion of the date. All you need to know from before is that Brandon, Easy, Chasen, Jay, and Joe won the dodgeball game and got the time with Claire, while Blake's team lost and he's pouting even more. Now, Easy is the first one to pull Claire aside and avoid another group date catastrophe. He whips out the foot rub move and does very well, and Chasen also has a great bit of alone time with Claire. But it's another man who makes a bold move that might not go over well with the other guys. Why should we be doing this? I don't know if this Excuse is the right me. direction for me. Ah, hi! Sorry. Oh my god, hi! Uh, hi. Blake crashes the date. A huge mistake because now everyone knows he's not willing to play by the rules. So Blake was just really upset with how week two has gone for him. Not getting the one-on-one, -on -one, not winning the dodgeball game, and not getting time to build upon his night one chat with Claire. So he's come here to steal her away, but... Uh, Jay, do you mind if I steal it for just five minutes? I mean, were you, didn't you lose? Yeah, dude, buzz off. Anyways, Blake gets his time, but it's really awkward for Claire because by spending time with Blake, she's now kind of disrespecting the other men. But Blake's like, hey, you told me you liked when I break the rules, so here I am. I know I'm gonna take heat for this, but I don't care. I've got balls. The other men then come over and hover over the two, so Claire sends Blake back to the bachelor pad, and we get this moment. Thank you so much, Blake. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, you can't, can't go in for it right now. Mmm. Sweet, sweet secondhand embarrassment. How I missed you. But don't worry about Blake. Later, Claire says she loved the gesture and rewards him by giving him a rose before the rose ceremony. Everything you are doing is so right. And it's going to be one of these seasons. 
But let's head back to the group date where Easy and Chasen have had strong showings. And next up is Brandon. Let's see what he can do. When I found out that you were the Bachelorette, I just knew <laughs> I knew I had to be here. Oh, that's so sweet. Brandon's a big Claire Crawley stan. What else has he got to say? So what made you want to be on here for me? First of all, you're obviously absolutely gorgeous. All right, this guy has no idea what he's talking about. Also, the moment after she asks him what made him want to be on here for her, he actually gulps. And that's the moment you know this guy didn't plan an answer for this question. Is there any other thing that made you want to come on for me? Um, I, d I don't have a specific answer for you. So Claire then sends Brandon home immediately, after a record-breaking, what, five sentences of airtime? And then Chasen gets the group date rose. So the next day, the talk of the town is Brandon being sent home for having nothing to say about Claire but her looks, and Yosef's getting all riled up. I know, I know what I would have said if she asked me that. It's like I, said. I would have said, I liked you a lot more before you humiliated, humiliated me. He's basically ready for a fight after Claire's callout on the first group date, and he's now even more irate over the other men having to strip. So he's got some words for Claire at tonight's cocktail party. Unfortunately though, this is not an episode that's going to end with a rose ceremony. Apart from Blake getting that rose, all we'll be seeing before the end of the episode is Claire and Dale once again... making out. Now that's a vicious lip bite. So there you have it, week two of The Bachelorette, and we're going to have to wait until next week for the rose ceremony and Yosef's blowout with Claire. And of course, with this week comes another preview to break down, so be on the lookout for that tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and until next time, Bachelor Fantake, out. I love that. I love that. Woo! Take off your shorts.